What a fantastic start to a homestand and a road trip for the Arizona State Sun Devils and Washington Huskies. As the number 14 team in the land, ASU is able to extend its win streak to a total of nine games, but boy, did it have a battle against Chantel Osahor. I'm Cindy Brunson along with Julian Viani. And Osahor was all over the floor. She was finding her teammates, playing like a point guard, and then turning and facing penetrating to the basket. She was finding her shot from behind the arc and getting in rhythm and, and then defensively, how about that block? I mean, she was all over the place. And then obviously Sophie Bruner for the Sun Devils really, really picked it up in the second half. She was more assertive. She was looking for her shot. She's one of those players that gets a lot of garbage points because she's a hustler. She's a grinder. She's going after her own board and that's giving her second and third chance opportunities. She just played so hard, but I think Lily Davis played maybe maybe the best out of all of them. I mean, she was nailing shots from behind the arc, taking what the defense was giving her. Washington played kind of a pack it in defense, and she made them pay. She spread the floor out very nicely by hitting from the perimeter, but she can take it to the hole too. She's just so quick. And Davis finished with 13 points, and her defensive assignment was Kelsey Plum, the nation's leading scorer, who was held to 21 points. Taking a look at the efforts of Bruner, Plum, and the four Fourth quarter scoring, Julianne, this game really picked up when things got tough and tight. There were nine lead changes in this one. Yeah, it was very exciting to watch. And we weren't sure going in how, how it would turn out because ASU such a defensive powerhouse. Would Washington be able to score against them? And they sure did. And it was an exciting game. The win streak is now up to nine for Arizona State. University of Washington has now lost three in a row to ASU. It's just one of the wonderful things you will see on the Pac-12 network. You can't beat women's basketball. Don't miss it.